is an Electrolux The Boss Z4622, I do believe. Yes, very late model in the Boss lineup. This one belongs to Mr. James. It apparently smells of old person, has a couple of things missing with it, and needs a refurb. So, let's have a look at how it is now, see how it works, and see how it works. We're going to have to do for the after video. Let's have a look. Yes, hello. My vacuum cleaner charms, how are you today? Yes, we temporarily have ye old faithful rug back. So yeah, we have that to play with today as well. And we have this look, the boss, 1400 watts of electricity sapping power, ergonomic back saver handle, ready to use tools and hose. This is, yeah, one of the long running line of yeah, machines with this style handle, this style chassis that has been going since the mid nineties. This is probably gonna be a later 2000s one with the later bag door and this branding, if you remember, Mr. Hoover Lux's video on his white Electrolux. It had the same style generation of text, font and colour. So yes, this is an old vacuum cleaner, refurbished up and made to sell again with a couple of key differences though. So let's start with those which involve coming up to the tools. Because straight away we can tell a difference. I mean, we can only tell a difference a little bit if you can spot it. Most of everything else is the same. We have two deluxe tools on this. Rather than the single, I mean, you know, the older style would have had the tools like that, and you know, they would go on to this moulding, which hasn't changed. I mean, obviously you can sort of replicate it by doing that. But yeah, we have ourselves a little upholstery tool with some brushes at the back. Very, very SIBO-esque brushes there. Oh. There they are, it just needed some light. Yeah, little little set of brushes down there, so that's cool. Are you gonna focus back? No. There we go. And yeah, an actual dusting brush. The same crevice tool that they always did come with. We are missing an extension wand. That is something that I'm aware of. And oh, the typical, very short, Little hose that they came with, just enough to do your dusting around where the machine is. Obviously, you can pull it over very easily, which is always fun with these things. So yeah, bar the missing a pulse, bar the missing extension tube, we also do not have a wand end cap, which makes it very weird to hold, especially if you hold it further back than that. And I've also noticed that little little cable retaining thing is broken on there, but nobody ever used those anyway. So that's fine, right? I think that's everything at the back. Let's have a look at the front and check if it's got a bag in it, I suppose. Oh, I and mean, it does, although well, again, look nice and nice and dusty. I think you can get pepper type bags for these. Oh, I'm not actually too sure, because there's nothing really to stick anything onto there. Yeah, I probably can't. So these have only ever really been used with paper bags like this and this one doesn't even have a pre-motor filter so there we go I suppose we'll have to look at that the other thing that you may have noticed there's one there there's one here actually and we can date it from March 2012 this has been to Kinney's who are an electrical refurbishers in Sheffield very very popular amongst us vacuum cleaner collectors because Oh, a lot of people we know have worked there. So here we go. Look, here is their nice stamp there. All over the place, at it. Sheffield, Chesterfield and wherever else. And yeah, all those are coming off. We don't want to keep those on there. They are horrible in terms of a nice, clean thing. Although, ah, oh. Um, this machine does seem to have faded somewhat. Ah, poo. Maybe I need to not peel these stickers off and talk to the owner of this machine and tell him that yeah if I go peeling that off too much more there we go look if I block the light she's a bit faded folks oh dear oh dear oh dear yeah 
What do you reckon? That's, that's going to be noticeable, isn't it? Ah, bother. Oh, right, well, we'll leave that for now then and, yeah, move on to underneath. Which is there, thank goodness. We have ourselves a fairly tatty-ish and soft brush roll, but equally it's there. And it feels like we have a pretty good belt as well. Nice base plate bottom bit and spring here, which I do believe is the same one from the self-propelled Electrolux bagless that I sadly broke a little while ago. That's where this went when that all got broken for spares, but that's what I've been a sellotape for, because I tucked the spring underneath it when I gave it to Mr. James a little while ago, and obviously now I've got it back to refurbish the machine. So yeah, how things go round. And yeah, by that, we just have ourselves a slightly faded, pretty standardy standard Electra self propel There's no exhaust filter on this thing either. There's a diffuser that I can see there but there's nothing else, so that's nice. Let's hope this bag doesn't split as we give it a go and see how it works. But first, actually, before we do that, and while we're pointing to the floor, I should show you the other exciting thing that this machine comes with. Yes, just like my generation, the bagless older 90s one, this too came with a stair cleaning hose, which is this, obviously. Quite cheap and nasty now, non-crush proof, non-stretched hose. But yeah, works in exactly the same way. You take your hose off of your vacuum, plug it in to the female 32mm end, and then all of a sudden you have lots and lots and lots of hose. And I mean, you could plug it back into the machine and have the worst vacuum cleaner in the world with a 10 mile long air car and just use it like that, which would be... Eh, a little bit silly, wouldn't it? But yeah, you have that option there, which we're not going to play with. We're going to do what every owner did. We've got one of these hoses with their machines. Oh, and it's so horrible to get out of there because you can't get your fingers around it. We're just going to chuck it back in its bag and never touch it again. Right, onto the floor. However, despite the fact that it is a cheapened version of a cheap vacuum cleaner, should be quite nice to use, because these often are. Pretty nice, especially on this short pile rug. It seems to like it very well indeed. See how much actual suction it has, as it literally only has a new bag as its filter. Some airflow. Problem is, this thing stinks. Absolutely stinks. An old person. The problem is, all the rubber seals are just going to be compromised, and the whole thing's leaking air from literally everywhere, which is why it's not fantastically brilliant. But you know, there is hope for it. Let's just clean up the little mess that I can see over there, and I think we'll call that it.
So there we go. It works physically. It's quite nice to use physically. It doesn't look too bad cosmetically, although, yeah, we may not be able to lose these Kili stickers quite as easy as I thought we would. But it runs, it drives, it picks the bits up. It's not going to need much more than just a good wash and a good service and an actual filter fitted. So, yeah, there we go. Let me know down below if you've ever had one of these that's this late before. Certainly one of the latest I've seen. Hopefully by the after video I would have found a date wheel and we could maybe work out. Although I suppose I guess it depends on where I find the date wheel. Because if it's on this back part, well that could have been done in the early 90s when they first started producing these cleaners. It's probably going to be the hood, this or that, that I'm going to have to look which will date the machine. So yeah, I'll let you know if I find that in the after video. If you know anything about these, please comment down below. But until next time, I and this will see you soon. Happy vacuuming.